Lori English says she can't believe the emotional and financial support that's pouring in for her family after a complete stranger started a GoFundMe page for her. Just helping take that burden off of us is just amazing. It's been just over two months since Lori English was rocked by the devastating loss of her two children, Clarissa and Dakota. The bodies of the 24-year-old and 18-year-old were found in this West Lethbridge townhouse on April 28th. Lori says Saturday night was the first time she left the house since her children were murdered. Lori's waitress was Megan Lawlor, and she says Lori was one of the nicest people she's ever served. Lawler says her own experience with losing a close friend encouraged her to find a way to help Lori. I gave her a big hug and just said, you know, like I prayed for your family. I'm like so sorry. I can't even imagine. And and like, is there anything I can do at all? We both kind of got a little emotional and hugged and she wanted to hug me and she asked if there was anything she could do. And I told her, no, there's nothing really anybody could do at this point. And then she came back and she kind of insisted. She was like, there has to be something I could do, like anything. And I told her, actually, the funeral home hasn't been paid off. So Lawlor set up a GoFundMe page and set out to raise the $2,600 left on Lori's Ville at Cornerstone. In just over two days since Lawlor started fundraising, she's already reached her goal. I don't have children and I can't imagine what she's going through and, you know, I just got this really strong feeling that I needed to help her. There's not a whole lot of people in the whole world that are like that. And for her to be able to help us like that, it means so much. Lori says she wants to thank the community too, as their support is helping her cope with the loss of her children. Taylor Osteen, CTV News, Lethbridge.